I often talk about um, the weight of systems, systems residue that are weighting folks down people of color, marginalized folks, poor folks, women. We can go through all the forms of oppression and these systems are exacerbating those. So we all see it. The animating feature of social innovation is this recognition, this clear-eyed recognition that current systems are not working or not working for enough of us. Um, but there is a real um, animating feature to try to fix, repair, rebuild, reimagine those systems to make them more inclusive um, and provide more opportunity for all. Um, but the diagnosis that these systems aren't working is the same diagnosis that we see from those um, who are animated by populist anger. Social innovation is a powerful tool for attacking and dismantling structural racism. The work that innovation is so good at, value creation, um, um, a dynamic propulsive force, Joseph Schumpeter called it creative destruction. It lends itself to the work of tackling the virulence of structural racism, um, not just in the US, but also a global context. We've got this moment where conversation has broken through, allowing the value, the inherent value of proximity of lived experience to be um, valued in this conversation, making room and space for the power of local embedded leadership as being the driver for solutions that work in space and time for that community. Far too often um, in sort of the polyarchical world of the social um, sector, where um, donors really sort of set and drive the debate, they've set the frame around what scale can and should be. But I think most of us who um, live and work in communities know it's much more complicated than that. It's more relational than that. Um, it's sort of tending to the local ties, building social capital over time, recognizing that one intervention might work in one community, might not work for another community. I think it's such an important point that there's there's no way to achieve any kind of transformational, structural, systemic, whatever you want to call it, change without reconfigurations of power and redistributions right. of power. And that's why it's so difficult we all know that the fundamental definition of social innovation is an alliance-based model for change, right? How do you bring the market, civil society, and government together by blurring sectoral boundaries in a way that creates new and shared public value? It's so important that we uh, we, we work together as a community, as an ecosystem, and as a movement um, to, to put pressure on uh, on governments yes. on multilateral bodies to, um, to to create change. And I think we need to uh, we need to um, advocate and sometimes shame our leaders to be um, to be a bit bolder and a bit longer term in their thinking. Small steps to begin is just begin the journey of learning talking to others and being comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's not a bad way to start, but if enough of us do it, I think we at least um, begin down this very necessary road to get to the kind of healing and reconciliation that we all need.